Hi, my name is Christiane and I'm a biochemistry major from the class of 2016. Today I'll be demonstrating how to operate a melt temp. Melt temps are a tool that allows us to measure the melting temperature of a substance, usually organic compounds. Melt temps consist of several parts. Most apparatuses have an on-off switch plus a voltage dial. This one is all-in-one and you just turn on the voltage dial to turn the apparatus on. You can use the dial to adjust how fast the apparatus heats up. If you want it to heat up more than 10 degrees Celsius per minute, you can turn it all the way to rapid heat. Next, there will be a thermometer where you can monitor the temperature. The thermometers may either be a digital tr or traditional glass one. This melt temp uses a digital one. There's also a sample loading area where you will place your capillary tubes that are full of your sample. You can place up to three at a time in this loading area. As usual when in lab, all the normal safety gear is required. This means goggles, closed-toed shoes, and gloves. But take your gloves off before you touch the computers. Pour out some sample into a small weigh boat. This will make sure that the rest of the sample in the vial doesn't get contaminated by the capillary tubes. As for the capillary tubes themselves, this is where the sample will be doing its melting. They're open on one end and closed on the other. To get sample, gently press the open end into the sample pile. Then, tap it against the table to get it to fall into the closed end. When loading your sample, make sure the closed end goes in first so all your sample doesn't melt out into the melt temp. Adjust the dial so that it raises the temperature 7 to 10 degrees Celsius per minute. If you know the approximate melting temperature of your substance, you should decrease the rate of the increasing temperature to 1 to 2 degrees per minute once you reach a threshold area. If you don't know the expected temperature range, take a crude melting point and then repeat the experiment. Turn off the melt temp between trials so that it can cool down. Watch until you see the sample start to melt. Record the range from when it begins to melt till it's completely liquid. Dispose of the used capillary tube in the proper container. Careful, the melt temp might still be hot. 